Hello everybody, it is Shady here and welcome to today's No Money Spent episode. Would you believe it? I've actually made MT by playing the game. I know, that is... It's sad that that is a staggering statement to make, but it really is. Over the last two days, I have been grinding pretty, pretty hard on these Evos, uh, specifically on one player, and that is him right there, Desmond Bane, taking him from Amethyst to Opal to Dark Matter, uh, and I'm going to tell you guys whether or not it is viable, whether or not it's actually a worthwhile thing to do, uh, what the profit margin is like, and what is the easiest way to go about it. As far as I'm aware, he is the only card you can actually Evo and make money off of, which isn't great, and I'm sure over the next couple of days it'll, it'll fizzle out and he won't be viable anymore, but over the past few days, I think we've made some MT. Yesterday, or two days ago, last video, we had 1.4 mil exactly, so... We've got that as a little gauge. Wherever we come, hopefully higher than 1.4 mil, that is how much we have earned from these Des Banes. As for today, there's absolutely nothing in the game. Yesterday, absolutely nothing. Just these super packs. Oh, they've gone. There were super packs. 2K is so embarrassed of taking them out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're doing in Season 6. We've got two weeks left of this season. Um, and uh, yeah, what, what will you remember from Season 6? Will anybody remember this season ever existed? I, I don't really think so. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for the daily videos and check out twitch.tv slash crossover for the daily streams. Premier League team of the season tomorrow for FIFA, which I'm so excited about. Uh, and we'll obviously get some new packs tomorrow alongside most likely zero content. That sounds about right. Uh, today we have the week four stuff. Now, I, I haven't really looked at these things. Um, but they're wild. So five challenges for part one, five challenges for part two, so you're already at ten challenges, seven challenges for part three. You have to do 17 challenges. 17 hoops you've got to jump through, and then 2k dangling the carrot at the end of the tunnel give you one untradeable heroic pack. There's 17 challenges. And, like, even if you go back to week two... Yep, that's not 17, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 for week, oh, well, that's week 2 and week, oh, I've done some of week 2 already, that's a pain. Even that's 14, so it's gone up 3 since week 4. Just unnecessary, isn't it? And if you do these things, like, specifically for the pack, you need to get yourself another game. You need to find yourself a game that's going to reward you for your time, because that is not it, Chief. Uh, other than that, yeah, like I said, there, there's literally nothing in this game right now, which is wild, but it is what it is. So, yesterday I set out to make some MT by actually playing the game, and I chose my uh, my victim here was Desmond Bane. We we're going to be evoing up a lot of him. So, the strat, let's talk about it. You can get the playoff Des Bane. He starts Amethyst, goes to an Opal, goes to a Dark Matter. He, he won't sell for 2 million MT, although you will see quite a lot of sus behaviour on Des Banes. A lot of people think using that Dark Matter uh, will avoid a ban. I don't know if it will or not, but yeah, you'll see some dodgy prices on him. So you can buy the Amethyst Des Banes, so the, the baseline one, the, the basic one, for in and around 20, you can get them for 27k, but on open bids, you can get them for around 25k. So around 25k for your Amethyst version. You then have to go ahead and take him to an Opal, then you take him to a Dark Matter. I'll talk about those steps in a second. And then at the end of the tunnel, you come out with a Dark Matter Des Bane. Now, over the last two days, again, I've only done this yesterday and today, the Dark Matter's price has fluctuated between sort of 44 and 50k. Right now, he is around that 45k mark. But again, he does fluctuate between 45k and 50. He is the cheapest Dark Matter up on the auction house right now. It did. He did take a little bit of a hit yesterday with Jalen Brunson getting his Evo to a Dark Matter because he is now also the cheapest Dark Matter, or is he? Really, yeah, so Jalen Brunson's come out. That's hurt it a little bit. Would have been better if he wasn't there, but it is what it is. You can still make money. So you buy him for 25k as an Amethyst, and then you sell him as a Dark Matter at 45 to 50k. So you make 20k per card. Now, is it worth your time? What do you have to do and how long does it take? So, there's Bane. First Evo. 36 points, not a problem. 7 rebounds, not a problem. He does actually get quite a lot of rebounds. 7 free throws. Now that, that's horrible. 
So, this is how I have been going about these Evos. Does it show me the second one? It doesn't, but I know it off by heart now. So, 36 points in a game, 7 free throws and 7 rebounds. First thing I do, I go into clutch time with this lineup right here. Uh, it was Muggsy, but he was on an exhibition. He was on, he was on a little holiday trip. He's back now. So Muggsy, Seth Curry, AI, and PJ Tucker. Uh, and then we put in Des Bain into this slot right here. Right, so for the first one, what I'd do, I'd play a lock on Des Bain. I'd go into the game, and I'd just focus on rebounds. So I'd put him on the opponent's center, focus on rebounds, not scoring, just keeping the game close, and then making sure it's like a five, six-point game going into the final 30 seconds, and then the AI will start fouling. You'll be able to get your free throws. So I use the first game to get rebounds and to get free throws. So seven rebounds, seven free throws, job done. Then go into the fundamental playmaking challenge to get your 36 points. It's just for five assists with a single player. So just make sure you get the fifth assist from any player. It doesn't matter who it is. To Des Bain for his 36 point and that ends straight away. So that's easy. So that gets the Amethyst Evo done. So one clutch time game. And one fundamental game, we just got to score 36 points. Then, for the Opal to the Dark Matter Evo. Yeah, it's not going to show me here, but I can tell you what it is. Uh, so, it is 33 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists. So, 33, 10, and 5. Now, the good thing about that is, it can be done, and I am doing it, in one game of clutch time. So, just one game Evo, Opal to the Dark Matter I don't play a lot for it. Again, I put Des Bain on the center. He'll be an opal. You can shoot fours. It's on T1. It's semi-pro. So shoot four, shoot threes. Doesn't matter what you're shooting. As long as you're getting the shots up, get the points. Rebounds will come naturally. And then get the assists as well. And if you're struggling on time, start fouling. You know, keep the time on the clock. Uh, and that gets the Evo done. And I timed it yesterday. And I came out of 22 minutes from start to finish. So 22 minutes from this as an amethyst. Whoa, where did that take me? What is that animation? Uh, to a dark matter. It's a 22 minutes. So you could do, I mean, if you like demon time, you probably do 20 minutes. But realistically, you're going to get two of them done per hour. So two Des Banes per hour. Is that is is that a viable way to make MT? Bearing in mind that you're having to play clutch time and like fundamental challenges, like it's not exactly riveting stuff. But let's say you buy them 25k. You, you spend that 20 minutes, you get him up, right now is 45k, minus the tax, of course, because, of course, 2k takes 10% tax. You're looking at about, like, 16k, double that with two of them, about 30 to 35k per hour. Is that good enough? Is that, I mean, will you be able to get 30k an hour anywhere else in this game by playing? Absolutely not. Would you be able to get 30k an hour by working the auction hours? Maybe, but you might also lose that 30k if you don't play it well. So, in terms of playing, you're not going to get anywhere better. That looks like a good price on a Jimmy Rider. You're not going to get 30k an hour by playing the game. Even TTO, I don't think you're making 30k an hour on TTO. Uh, Co-op, you're not making it. Clutch Time Online, you're not making it. Uh, Unlimited, you're not making it. Depending on where you are, of course. But, yeah, no, you're not making that in an, in an, in an hour. You're not making that. So, you know, it is it is a viable strat. Uh, and I have done 18 of them. And I've got one in the club, and we've got one here that I haven't uh, done yet. But you can see you've got a refund of 5,000 MT. Now, I would have bid, so like 26k. So I actually got this Des Bane for 15k. Not bad, or 15, 16k. So my profit on that one is going to be like 25k to a demo now, that's 50k. Now, that's very nice. So, yeah, bid sniping is, is uh, very important. You'll see some in beads. We'll talk about that, don't worry about it. But then down here, there's Bane Central. Yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. So you can see the fluctuations in his price. 43, 44, 46, 47, 48, 49. Uh, a couple more at 49 up here. So his price is a little bit all over the place, but consistently between 45 and 50k. And the reason he has that price is because of this right here, the Dark Matter Exchange for a Hoff Badge or for two Hoff Badges. People like it. The people who are like addicted to Hoff badges used to be me back in the day. Uh, they're re-rolling them a lot. So they're buying Des Baines and they're burning Des Baines in the exchange. So uh, his price is always going to stay relatively high because it is for the two Hoff badges. But this looks like a lot of MT. 
So we're going to cash all this in and see where we're at because I've got these in beads, but I know exactly what I've paid for those in beads. Uh, and we start at 1.4 mil. Let's see where we get to. So this is over two days, evoing up 18 of them. Again, it is quite, it is a lot of work. It is, it is small steps, but it is generating MT. You know, it is genuinely making me a little bit, probably not a lot of it, maybe a couple of hundred thousand, a good couple hundred thousand, hopefully. Let's see where we get to here. So that's 800k already, and that's 900k already. Right, okay, well, that's very good news, actually. So with the two Des Banes we've got, we're going to put ourselves at a mil. Uh, we're going to put ourselves at a mil with the two Des Banes. We've then got seven Joel Embiid's here, and they've got some nice refunds on them. Now, all of these Embiid's, I bid 110k, and you see they all came back with a refund. That is a perfect amount of MT. So that's 700k right there. Easy. Plus the two Des Banes, probably about 750k. So we're at 1.75 million MT. We started at 1.4. So quick maths. We made 350,000 MT profit from 18 Des Banes. Now, I can't do maths in head, so bear with me. 315k, 350k, minus, uh, divided by 18... 19,500 MT per Des Bane I made. That's, that's not too bad, obviously, minus in the, the taxes and stuff. So I was on around 40k an hour with two Evos. So 40k an hour, you know, are we good with that? I, th I think we've got to be okay with that. In this in this landscape of 2k, 40k an hour is probably as good as you're going to get unless you become, like I said, an absolute market guru uh, and get like super lucky with a bid tonight, maybe. Uh, like this Tim Thomas right here, who's at 400k. Why is a hero Tim Thomas at 400k? Excuse me? Hey, is his price crashed real quick? Uh, somebody else has, <laughs> somebody else has found it now. Has his price dropped? I'm sure I saw him earlier, like eight, 900k. Yeah, I'm gonna let that go because I don't, I don't, I don't trust it. So that's the with the auction house. You just it is risky business. Like, why is a KG at 750k? I think that's somebody buying MT. You never know what's real and what's buying MT. You just can't tell. I think that's the way. The I mean, look at the base Jokic of 500k. A uh, Kawhi still at 300k. Like the market is wild. And, and when you and look at it, a standard MJ at 400k, man. What are we doing here? Um, yeah, when you're making 40k an hour, you know, you think of it in, all right, I've got to play for 10 hours, I'm going to make 400k. What's 400k going to get you? Realistically, well, we're just saying it's not enough to get a Nikola Jokic, not enough to get any of the hero cards, it's not enough to get an MJ, it's not enough to get, you know, half of a Yao or one leg of a T-Mac. It's, it's, it's not that much in the ecosystem of 2k23, which really does suck. It did make me MT. And uh, you can see what the strat is moving forward. You can see what we're banking on uh, for our next move. Because I've given it two days, but a lot of hours into those Evos. Um, it is, It does work, it is effective, but it is slow. And we're not going to get anywhere in this count being slow. So we are going to be... After he came back from injury last night uh, against Celtics, uh, obviously didn't play well, didn't play many minutes because it was an absolute blowout. They're going back to Philly. For game three, it's a split. It's 1-1. One, one. Um, if Harden goes to a dark matter, he will be up at 2 300 k And we know that, of course, because he's already got the dark matter in game. He's got the heroic one and the hero one. And he does go for around the 2 300 k And, of course, this is a live item. It can get upgraded even more. So people will, you know, it'll have a little bit more value on it. We saw it with James Harden. Where is he? We saw it on James Harden. Uh, and he just went to another Opal, which is sad. Uh, but look, even Harden's up at 150k right now. Why is Embiid not up at 150k? I don't know. So I've got all seven of these for 100,000 MT each. We even got one as a hollow. And I'd be very, very confident if he has a banging game, he is going to two 300k and we are doubling our money. So with that 1 million MT, I think I'm just going to full send on these Embiid's. Let me know down below what we think about that as our next move here. But we made 350k over two days. It's it's good, but it's not viable. You can't do that day in, day out for like however many hours I put into it. You can't do that. It's it's 
It's way too time consuming. It's incredibly dull, incredibly boring, and incredibly monotonous. And also a little bit frustrating at times, because sometimes you won't get the rebounds. Sometimes they won't foul you enough, so you won't get as many free throws, which is a pain. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to try something else. And the only thing that I like from the playoffs at the moment, you've got Jason Tatum. He could go to a dark matter. He's already at 200k, though. Your profit margin, I don't think, is very high. Jalen Brown could go to a dark matter. Will people really care about Jalen Brown as a dark matter? I don't particularly think so. Harden, he could go to a dark matter. Will people care about him as a dark matter? Probably. But he's already up at like 200k. But Embiid's just chilling at 100k. And you know that he's a good card. We know he's going to go up in price. So I think that's a pretty good one. You've got AD. He's it's, it's 500k. Uh, you've got LeBron, who's 400k. You've got the chef, who is probably three, 400k. And Nikola Jokic, who is not 1.6 mil. So yeah, you've got limited options. But Des Bain right now is a surefire way of making some MT. Is it a lot? No. But is it some? Yes, it is. Aside from working the auction house like an absolute psycho, um, if you want to actually play the game and earn MT, uh, that is a way to go about it. And that's what I've been doing over these past two days. And then we're all in on the sixes and indeed. So let me know what you think about my moves. Did we do good? You know, again, we average 40k per hour. I think that's okay. And then we're going to go all in on these and bees. I'm going to keep scooping until I've got nothing left. So we've got seven here, which bid on one. That's eight. We can get nine more. And I will do my best to get a full stack of what's that going to be? 17. 17 in beads. And if I could sell these to Des Bainsman Evoed, hopefully we can make 18. So we'll be all in. 1.8 mil. All in. On in beads. Oh boy. Let me know down below what you think. That's going to do it for me today, everybody. Hope you have enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time, and peace.